This is a very good seasoning too. So yeah, my next season is some Mrs. Dash. You know, I love my Mrs. Dash. And um, look at me. I kind of like to put a... You guys welcome back to my channel and tiktok made me do it today we're going to make some alfredo spaghetti i guess so go ahead and put you some hamburger meat in a skillet and you're going to add you some diced peppers and onions you can use color um peppers if you want to extra i just use one pepper and one onion so you want to go ahead and mush this apart this is actually two pounds of ground beef so yeah just go ahead and mush this well mush this break this apart and then we're going to go ahead and start adding some of our season but i have a habit of just breaking all this stuff down before i do all that but go ahead and with your season y'all know my season this is garlic powder i use the same seasons for everything I, I, at this point if you are a follower of me you should know all the season i put on everything ground black pepper someone told me that white pepper is actually better i'm gonna have to check that out but Go ahead with some adobo. I use the red um, lid. I wonder what's the difference between the blue. But um, adobe seasoning, yes, this actually come in a big seasoning instead of the little packets. Every time I see it, I buy it. You know I got my Lowry's seasoning salt. Can't go, I don't like any other seasoning salt but Lowry's, but hey. Slap your mama. Oh, I dropped that, so don't worry about that. I am gonna clean it before I use it. Um, some complete seasonings. This is a very good seasoning too. So yeah, my next season is some Mrs. Dash. You know, I love my Mrs. Dash. And um, look at me. I kind of like to put a little extra in there and go in with some onion powder. And we're going to go ahead and just mix all these seasons back together. Yes, I rinsed that off before I used it before y'all get on there. She dropped that and then put it off. No, I freaking rinsed it off. But anyways, go ahead and mix this all together until it's all the way broken down and all the way cooked. Okay, now we're gonna add our spaghetti noodles to already a boiling pot of salt and water. So I like to break my noodles in three because when I'm eating, I hate to have to keep breaking my noodles. So I go ahead and just make it easier for me. I break them in three, but listen, this is optional to you. I'm just telling you how I break my noodles. You don't have to do it like this, but just the moral of the story is boil you some spaghetti noodles in a pot of, of I can't even get it out. In a pot of water with some salt, cook them until they al dente. But make sure you go ahead when you put them in, you mix that around because you don't want none sticking. So let's get back to this. So our meat is done. Now we're going to drain the excess fat off, and then we're going to come back. Now we're back. You're going to turn this down some. You're going to add you some diced tomatoes. I like the basil herb and garlic one because it has a lot of flavor in it and i like prego sauce you can use traditional this one i just had was um just chunky gar garden well traditional is just fine and yes i'm gonna turn mine upside down because i want all that so you want to go ahead and mix this all together but that's why the reason i've, I've turned it down because you're going to let this simmer because the reason why you want to let this simmer you don't want no paste no tomato pasty paste taste on there so turn that down keep constantly stirring it and let it simmer and you already know me honey i have to go back in with some seasonings yes i am a seasoned head when it comes to food but this right here is optional you don't have to do this if you like how it tastes already that is fine you don't have to do this and trust me when i do this it tastes very very good it don't taste over season or anything like that but when i do do this i don't ever use seasoning salt again or any type of salt 
because it'll make it salty. The other ones will just enhance and bring out the flavor. So, yeah, y'all, don't mind me. Yes, I am re-seasoning this again. But you want to get this a stir. Like I said, keep it on low, medium, and let all those flavors and juices simmer in. Okay, now the spaghetti is done. I do a little taste test. And we're going to go ahead and rinse this off in cold water. And then we're going to come back to this. Now it's time to make the Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce is very easy to make. You're going to go in with some heavy whipping cream. I'm going to use two cups of heavy whipping cream. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. But it's also good for you to add in. Oh, here I go, adding in. I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead of this. Voice recording is kind of, you gotta go with the flow and also watch the screen. Go ahead and add you like a spoonful of cream cheese. Now in this part, one thing about the cream cheese, you have to make sure the cream cheese is melted, but you're gonna go ahead in with your seasonings now. I'm not going to keep on telling y'all the season I use, but y'all already see it. Adobo, there was some Saison I put in there, some garlic um, powder. Yes, a little extra garlic powder, heavy on the garlic powder because this is, you have to. But anyways, some Laurie seasoning salt, some complete seasoning. Some Slap Your Mama. some onion powder. And some Mrs. Dad. So basically these is all the same season that I use for the meat. So like I said, you wanna go ahead and make sure that cream cheese is all the way melted down. And you wanna bring this to a boil. Now that this is melted down to a boil, you have to make sure this is piping hot and boiling before you add any of your cheeses. That's what makes the difference. So I got Italian style cheeses. Basically come with all the white cheeses that you're gonna use for your Alfredo sauce. So I go ahead and sprinkle in like a handful and a half of that. Then I got my Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and sprinkle in a handful of that. Now when making Alfredo sauce, you have to make sure the cheese is all the way all the way melted you do not want to add anything no meat or anything until this part is all the way melted now that is a tip for making alfredo sauce make sure everything is incorporated and melted before you add anything to it believe me i'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning salt and a little bit more mixture stash but this is just optional don't mind me now that this is have came to a boil, all of the cheeses are melted, then you add your pasta noodles. So go ahead and add your pasta noodles in the dish. The dish, the frying pan. You wanna give this a good stir. You wanna make sure all the noodles are covered with the sauce, and you wanna bring this to a boil as well. So you could just go ahead and keep mixing and keep mixing this all together until it is all incorporated into it's like a thick look. One thing about Alfredo sauce, well bacon Alfredo sauce, you have to constantly stir because you don't want this to stick to the pan. Okay, as you can see, this has came to a boil. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Your next thing is getting your whatever dish you're gonna use, you're gonna spray it with some bacon spray or whatever. Make sure you put that all in there. Then you're gonna add your um, Alfredo noodles to the bottom of the pan. So go ahead and pour this in your pan dish or whatever you choose to use.
Yes, I'm going to scrape everything out the pot because I want all that. Look at my dog. She can't wait to go get that noodle I dropped. So go ahead and pat this down flat in your pan. Go ahead in and sprinkle some mozzarella cheese. Just cover it with a little mozzarella cheese. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our hamburger meat with the spaghetti sauce. You're gonna sprinkle that on top as well. Do not mix this, do not mix this. Just even it out to make sure that it's all the way even out, but do not mix this because the way it's gonna bake, it's gonna be very good. So you don't wanna mix it. Now we're just gonna to top this off with a few cheeses. I'm gonna to top this off with some mozzarella cheese. Just go ahead and sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on the top. And then I'm gonna add in a Mexican blend cheese. This is optional. You could just use the mozzarella cheese or you could just use the Mexican um, cheese at the top. It really doesn't matter. That, that's really up to you. So after you put all your cheeses in there, you're gonna go ahead and put this in a preheated oven on 375 and let it get brown at the top. And then we're gonna come back now we are back look at this yes i'm still adjusting my camera bringing it up but no worries but this this dish this is my first time ever making this this is my first time ever tasting it so we are on this journey with each other together but so many people on tiktok said this dish is really good so now we are about to try it so let me just zoom in a little bit more so you can just see it looks pretty good. You know, it's looking like how all the other TikTokers made theirs. So yeah, let me scoop out some more at the bottom. Now it's time to eat this. This is piping hot. Wait a minute, you see that steam? I don't want to burn the roof of my mouth, but let me let this calm down a little bit. Um, but here it is, you guys. Let me try it. OMG. This is really, really good. Oh my God. Like, this is like whoever made this. God bless you. Like, God did the best to you 20 times. But look at this. This looks so, so good. Oh my God. It tastes very, very good. This is going to be something that I'm going to add on my catering list. And this is this is a very very good dish this is a very 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 good dish but thank you all for tuning in with me with talisha's kitchen and make tiktok made me do it of uh, i don't know what to call this spaghetti alfredo but here it is you guys make sure you like comment subscribe and share everyone have a blessed day